Welcome back to Fast Money. Check out shares of UPS, a shipping giant hitting a new all-time high after reporting better than expected Q3 earnings. Thanks to an e-commerce boom, the stock is now up 29% year-to-date. Good news for you, Karen. Yes, good news for me. Unfortunately, the bad news is I have more FedEx than I have UPS, and this really was sort of a, you know, they showed FedEx how it's done. Nice, very nice job. They didn't ship more packages, but they made more revenue on each package that they shipped. Their mix was better. They didn't have those employee problems that FedEx seemed to have, the labor shortage that FedEx had that really dragged down their quarter. Remember, UPS is union. FedEx is not. So there was a lot to like here. Hopefully, a lot of those same things that worked for them, the revenue growth, the higher uh, price per package, will uh, accrue to FedEx's benefit as well. We won't hear from them until, I think, late November. So I'm happy. Their stock isn't, it's, it's expensive relative to FedEx, but it's not expensive. And FedEx is really not expensive. Yeah. Um, but does this quarter, Tim, tell you that UPS is where you want to be? Ah, great question. So, I, I, look, on relative value, I, I like, I like you, uh, FedEx underperforming by 30% year to date to UPS. But, but again, um, this is where you want to be, FedEx, if, if you look at UPS. This is operational uh, execution that FedEx can only dream about. Again, UPS is targeting a consolidated margin of 13.5 to 14 uh, by 23. This is the first sign that they're breaking through. Add that to the pricing power that they have. Uh, J.P. Morgan, I think, refers to this as a virtuous cycle for UPS that's only just beginning if they continue to follow through as they did on these numbers. So, again, going into peak holiday season, they've got the pricing power. They're about to announce pricing, which should uh, replicate what FedEx is getting. Um, very interesting time for both of these companies. But I'd rather own FedEx on a relative value play and massive underperformance.